Okay, hey folks, um, this is Tim with a quick uh, Two Point Hospital stream. I'm really quite excited about this. It's um, it's a game that uh, is a spiritual sequel in that it's got staff members who worked on the original uh, theme hospital, which was by, by uh, Bullfrog, and uh, it's a game that I played way back when, I think on, on the uh, Commodore Amiga, um, and then uh, I've repurchased it from uh, GOG, which is like a retro gaming site. They do sell modern ones as well, but uh, yeah, um, quite excited about this. This is literally my first look at it. Haven't even um, run the game yet. So um, it's literally just finished installing. So here we go. There was an error loading the content of the E. ULA, so no idea what I just agreed to. There is um, like an external uh, DRM that comes packaged with this game that uh, some people will be difficult about and um, you know kind of refund the game maybe. But we'll see how good it is. God damn, I'm so excited about this. Essentially, you know, this is just hoping that they've done Theme Hospital justice. Quick look at settings. I actually don't need more than 60, so... I turn down the music a little bit. Okay, hopefully there's some kind of guide that will take me through that. Everything else looks pretty straightforward here. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Awesome. So like I was saying, essentially, big, big fan of Theme Hospital. And uh, I'm probably going to be playing for, I don't know, an hour, two hours, something like that. Um, and this is essentially my refund test, you know, if they, if I don't feel like they've done um, Theme Hospital justice, or um, I think it'd be pretty hard to not do it justice, then um, this will be the only time I play it. So, okay, so get a star in Hogsport, so this is Hogsport. Okay, so. so I guess there's a few different islands. I can't scroll any further to the right than that. Um, but I see that there's some other locations around. Let's go where they've told me to though. Career goals. Okay, similar to Theme Hospital, you have... Um, various things okay 
Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Here we go. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around. To move around the hospital, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edges of the screen or use the WASD keys. First thing the hospital will need is a reception. Exactly the same as Theme Hospital so far. Okay, how do I rotate? Hold the left mouse button and drag. Okay. Alright, right inside the door. You need an assistant to run reception. That's a lot of money. Let's go for the one in the middle. Okay, GP's office for uh, preliminary diagnosis. mean increased treatment skills um, he's cheapest and it's mentioning diagnostic skills so let's hire this guy Okay, we have a working hospital. Okay, here's our first patient. Tells you what he's doing over here on the right. Pharmacy required. Diagnosed our first patient. In order to treat him, we need the pharmacy. So, our doctors have discovered a new illness called grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms, and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Okay. Get patient to wait. I'm going to build the pharmacy. Uh, let's build it. Here. And then he's saying we need to hire a nurse. Pharmacy, calling nurse. Um, let's go for the medium priced one. Where's she going? Did I hire a junior doctor instead of a nurse? I did. I did. 
need to click on nurse and pharmacy management. There we go. God damn, I'm so pleased to be playing this. I'm hyped. So we have we have multiple patients that all have grout. So patient cured, well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. So basically, they'll improve over time. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in, so we can expand the hospital. And the hospital as a whole gets a reputation increase. favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, oh my God. to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to depress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. So, the janitor here, um, he can get rid of ghosts. We need two fire extinguishers. Important to keep keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat. Okay. Five patients cured now. So staff get tired. Okay. So the bigger the room is, the happier they are. But also, let's build a staff room.
Okay, let's hope that keeps the staff happy for a bit. Toilets. called clamp and that's a pharmacy treatment as well it's weird my microphone keeps going up I'm thinking it might be able to pick up my headphones didn't realize it would be that sensitive Okay, staff promotion. Melissa is ready for promotion from student nurse to junior nurse. Let's promote her. It's been nice to our staff for now. We have plenty of money, things are going well. Okay. New diagnosis room. Okay, general diagnosis. Okay, basically look out for queue warnings, which is uh, too many people waiting, essentially. So there's more things. Wow. Okay. Nurse to general diagnosis. So she's probably overloaded, like that person is in a queue. And the nurse is gonna have to leave to come over here. I'm just gonna hire another nurse. No receptionist. Okay. Don't really like that being unmanned. Okay, we've unlocked the ward, which I haven't been told I need yet. Peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and more staff to keep on top of things. Okay, let's get the uh, GP's office done first.
Holistics is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Okay. So, I mean, we're getting through these instructions up here. I feel like it's going well so far. I haven't seen anybody with a lightheadedness yet. Oh, is that someone? discovered another new illness called bed face. Uh, a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. And I get the patient to wait. Like I said, we have plenty of money right now. Some patients should be ashamed of their condition. You know who you are. Them there. All right. Awards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room settings. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. I'm just going to hire another nurse until I actually start to have finance problems. New illness, Misery Guts, discovered. Chronic grumpiness due to elastic semicolon. Okay. Okay, so basically as you progress through these things, you get to unlock one of the padlocked items. I think that's twice that that person has been promoted. I may have to fire them soon. Um, our doctors have discovered a new illness called Bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Okay. Here's someone with lightheadedness. I'm pretty sure once the lightheaded patients start coming in, which they are, we'll be covering our costs, so I'm not gonna listen to him.
So what do we need? A deluxe clinic. Okay, the money's actually not to think about it. the money's actually going down now. Kind of thinking where I sh my camera should be actually, whether I should move it. Uh oh, someone just died. Sad news: our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails, or if they are waiting too long and their health deteriorates. Damn it. Fantastic stuff. If if I missed that that person was sick or wasn't getting cured in time. I don't know how. Treatment failed on this person too. I don't have you with this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffles Tristes. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four salt shakers. So it looks like we've got we've gone into a pretty pretty Plants need water. pretty nice profit. Um, quick overview. Yeah, profit and loss. It looks absolutely fine. Visualization modes. View the world with state-of-the-art hospital administrator goggles designed by Bun Bun Bungle Technologies. These high-tech spectacles use advanced optical sensors and a patented pri privacy invasion algorithm to analyze the state of people and items within the field of view. Through careful calibration, scientists have been able to harness the powers of this extraordinary invention to detect things such as how much someone needs the toilet or how much they want a packet of crisps. Inspiring stuff. Okay, so basically, if I look at the temperature, I would see if I need to place radiators. Um, staff happiness, I assume green is good. Yellow, not so good. Let's give them a pay rise for no reason. Uh, thirst. A person's very thirsty. That person's very thirsty as well, so 
They were both up this end of the hospital, so I'm going to put another drinks machine in. Where is it? Here. Hunger. Okay, we definitely need another janitor because this plant has died. And Garthy's gate is ready for a promotion from junior doctor to doctor. Porter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. Ooh. Ooh. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. That's one out of three. <laughs> Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more alternatively. Uh, al alternatively run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. and shine everyone and if you happen to be in lower bullocks this morning watch out for the gathering of druids down the grog ben's ring in a total coincidence the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today should all work out nicely okay so i've got this one up to one star out of a possible three like it said um Cool. I'm going to continue in this location now. Cure 25 patients. Okay, I need another receptionist. That one keeps walking away. They needed to pee earlier, so that explains that. The other items here. Um, so let's see. I, you're given a balance of kudosh here, which I have 180. So I could unlock these different colored benches, which 
I don't feel like I really need. Um, hand sanitizer. Thinking for yourself. Hmm. Wish you could donate all your money. Aha! Join the Orb Foundation today. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. I love this audio. It's fantastic. So now I'm down to thirty there, but this is quite some cool stuff. So, initial impressions, I think, uh, like, I, I, I came into this basically just not, not wanting them to have kind of tarnished Theme Hospital, really. Um, I think it would be very, very, very difficult for them to screw it up, but it's always possible. Um, and I like that this is apparently doing pretty well with sales, so... There's, there's no reason why a lot of these old IPs from, you know, the Commodore Amiga era um, can't be remade. Um, like the, the game that I've been playing the last few days, which is called um, Overland. That's actually very similar to an old game that I used to play uh, that was a Doctor Who game, where basically you had to run away from the, um, the uh, bad guys on kind of squares and then when you'd escaped when you picked up kind of the key for the TARDIS and then got back into the TARDIS you uh, you would then move to, move to the next square which I mean it's essentially the same gameplay elements as the game called Overland that I've been playing and uh, you know this is 25 years or so after that Doctor Who game so you know, there's no reason why they can't do this. You know, they they sh they should be doing an isometric view syndicate. You know, they should be doing all of these things that uh, were just fantastic, fantastic games. Did that just disappear? Okay. So we're getting pretty close to the 200,000. I'm going to speed it up a bit so that we uh, can get these patients cured. And become a two-star hospital. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, it just basically within this first hour, I wanted to know whether, you know, the game is actually a decent remake or whether it's a refund game because Steam allows you to refund within the first two hours. So I figured, you know, if I do a one or two hour stream, then uh, I'll I'll know. Do it. Where is my pharmacy? Was it here? Yes. Okay. Gonna get the. If ever you have found yourself at a loss gonna get that repaired. Usage of the English language, you may enjoy my Come on. popular guide to good grammar, a public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I will do one to proper enunciation uh -oh. as well. Come on, hurry up. Your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. 
Let's get these emergency patients cured. That's one. Come on. It's two. I think we should have time. Like if you look over here, you can see the progress. You can see um, cure two, failed zero. We're halfway through and I did stall them by repairing the machine first, which I'm kind of glad I did now. Damn, that guy failed. I don't think there's anything I can really do about that. Come on guys, let's hurry up. There's two left after this one. Oh no, there's three. That one failed as well. Okay, great. Three out of five was enough, apparently. So Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth went on to say that he looks forward to assessing our facility according to county mandated standards and regulations. He'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. to say to you today trousers people trousers they ought to be worn at all times they protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome so the health inspector is traveling i like that this keeps track of everything So he's visiting the GP's office, which unfortunately does not have a doctor in it. Hopefully having a green background is a good thing. So we only need two more patients to, to be cured. We're getting really close to becoming a two-star hospital. Hi Mark, how are you doing?
how are the uh, audio levels and stuff? I haven't actually been able to ask anybody yet. Um, I think it's quite good as far as a, a um, theme hospital remake. It seems, you know, kind of as as accurate as you would expect, you know, as far as a remake. Um, essentially, you know, you you have your hospital here that you can basically build up and improve. Um, lots of different rooms. These are the ones I have available so far. These are kind of general items, which you unlock them with your reputation, which is this K uh, kudosh stuff. Um, and then you can hire and fire staff, etc. Um, the, the illnesses and everything, you know, it's like Theme Hospital, they're kind of funny. Um, so far it seems a little bit easy, so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it gets a little bit more challenging later on. Um, if you go to the map here, uh, because I got one star here, I actually unlock this one now. Um, but there are multiple um, locations for you to unlock. Um, I can't get any further over to the right than this, so I'm not sure how many actual locations there are that are playable. But right now, you know, even though I could go here now because I've, I've un unlocked it, I'm going to stick stick with this for now. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not you know it's not a single hospital location. You know, you get to go on to other ones and have different challenges for those and things. Um, okay, so here you can see I had like a VIP that came around, same as you would see on Theme Hospital, and. Uh, he gave us um, five thousand dollars, eight reputation, and uh, ten um, of the kudosh. Maintenance announcement: Plants need water. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to level level six unless I actually build more stuff. Okay. Promote and train your existing staff. So, let's see. How do I promote? Take a break. Pay review. Okay. I'm not sure it uh, I mean you earn it for nothing it, it does seem a little strange that there's another currency like you know this currency this is a currency why wouldn't you just be able to unlock it for money I don't know it uh, it would be a shame if they're gonna do kind of silly microtransactions with with stuff like that but at least you can earn them for for, for free if that is the case So how do I, how do I actively promote people? Take a break. Jobs. I mean, the the more I kind of mess around and I I keep going through this stuff, it's actually a lot more complex than it appears. So I do think that later on. Um, on on the other sections of uh, on the other sections of the map, it's it's going to get pretty complex. Okay, outbreak of lightheadedness. Um, they're being going to be sent here. Yes, let's do it. So they're going to be treated in in here. I'm not going to repair it before they get here this time. So similar to Theme Hospital, like this is an emergency influx of patients.
take a seat, guys. Okay, so with those emergency patients, I get I've used 13 of 90 days. I have cured one so far. And similar to Theme Hospital, again, you do get these funny animations and, and things. No pillaging, please. Nice. Uh-oh. Patient death. Yeah, the animations are really good. I'm not sure. Um, I did knock up to a higher level the uh, the graphics quality because um, it was it was set to. I think it, I think if there's an ultra setting, I think it was set to high, and then I set it to ultra, and then lowered the frame rate cap because I only have a 60 hertz monitor, so I just set it to. Uh, 60 frames a second. Oops. I am actually getting closer here. So I think the more patients I cure, it is actually getting up towards level 6 by itself. God, that's a blast from the past. Doctor needed in GP's office. <laughs> oh, both of them, actually. Let's get an extra doctor. Now up to level five. Oh, this is cool. We haven't failed a single one of those patients. Hospital reputa reputation is now great. The audio is really nice too. The animations are good, but the audio is great. Buy your tickets now. And don't forget to bring your credit cards. This seven out of seven. See, so, like, the radio does sound like, like crappy hospital radio. Which is great. I think we just had a death. This is this is quite a cool thing. When someone dies, they haunt your hospital. Uh oh. So much death. And then our little ghostbuster goes around with his dustbuster.
I haven't really been this excited about a game for a while either. It's, uh, you know, as you can tell by the fact that I, I literally waited until it, um, until it unlocked at 1 a.m. and it's now nearly 2 a.m. Just so I could kind of try it out, because I, I, I figured, you know, with the two-hour refund time on Steam, I thought, well, you know, I'll stream it for an hour, two hours. Um, if I hate it, then I'll get rid. You know, I still have Theme Hospital I can play. But uh, I think it's a decent enough recreation, it's a decent enough um, game in its own right, really to uh, stay in my Steam library. Oh, okay. I have to press open. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they extended the 10% off until the 5th of, of uh, September. It was originally just a pre-order bonus, um, but now it's 10% off until the 5th. This is so theme hospital, really. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. Okay, so out of, I guess, the eight awards, my organization won four. Cool. Okay, so hospital value, I'm nowhere near. Cure rate is pretty good. Reputation is very good. Yearly profit. I mean, for the hospital value, considering the machinery that they must have in there, I don't think I'm doing badly. Um, yours per year, again, I think that's pretty good for the size of the hospital. Staff morale's pretty good. Actually, that's a bit lower than I would have expected, considering I've, pr I've promoted them every time they've asked for it. One of the things that I don't like really with the with the financing so far is that there's been times when I know that I'm about to turn a profit, but because I've just bought some equipment, the um, kind of the in-game guide starts to panic and says, you know, that you're losing money. Well, yes, I'm losing money because I just bought this stuff to make money. Um, so that's the only little annoyance, really. Uh, so you can set break policy here. No, like no long queue warnings, no long queues. Like I said earlier, I think there's a lot to this that I'm gonna end up having to find out on the later sections of the map, yeah. Like right now, this is easy. This is, you know, a guide. Um, fingers crossed it gets more difficult anyway. Theme Hospital wasn't necessarily difficult either though. Um, just basically had to time your purchases correctly. I don't really like that at least one of these doctor's offices is always empty.
Let's have a look at this here. Um, yeah, have a good day, Mark. I'm gonna look at this here. Let's see. Let's stick some plants around so that that attractiveness goes up. I like the way that it, it does tell you in into Harrison Wolf, the lone voice of reason, ready to spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. Wow. So hospital radio. Anyway. I'm going around trying to uh, improve some of these things now that I can detect. That person's about to die, why is he green? I don't get that. Anyway, patient happiness. Uh, pretty much green. Although what's amusing about this is that I appear to have way more staff than patients. Staff happiness is pretty good. There's a few yellow. What is this? Temperature. Does that mean it's cold or mean it's hot? Ward emergency. Let's do it. We have four beds. Let's cure all five. Patients should seem less sick and more cured during the health inspector's visit. Okay, so we have these ward patients and we have a visiting health inspector. There's the health inspector. First. I feel like I have enough drink machines. If people are thirsty, I think it's their own damn fault right now. Hygiene. Hygiene's very good. Toilets. I'm going to build another set of toilets over here. magazine rack there. There's not a lot of boredom really. And he was leaving so oh, I guess the inspection went well. Okay. So I'm fairly happy with how everything's actually running. We're so close to becoming a two-star hospital. So close. To collect your reward, go to the career goals list on the map. Where's my... 
Oh, I can rename the thing Korea. Collect. Nice. Okay. This is how you earn that currency then. Interesting. But I find listening to my own voice works best. I say one thing, and then another thing. And I say one thing, and then another thing. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. Let's put some more fire extinguishers around. I'm a little bit concerned, because he keeps telling me uh, that if I don't maintain things, they can catch fire. I feel like that's a warning. Or a veiled threat. Okay. Special report. Cured five out of five with bed face. Promote, go ahead, yeah. Promote. That's another death. Treatment failed. I don't really know what I can do about that. It's a little bit disappointing. Maybe it's inevitable, really. Um, like, diagnosis certainty is high. Staff skill was the problem. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, let's look at staff. Let's see. Ability. Doctors. So I fired one doctor. Gonna fire two nurses. One doctor, two nurses. my one doctor. Uh, gonna continue on this map, thank you. Now made it to be a two-star hospital. So basically, um, it's unlocked a new snack machine. Um, when you go to be one star, it unlocks the next hospital on the map. So, but this time it's just a snack machine. So let's hire those two nurses back. Just gonna wait for a new applicant. Okay. company known to some as hemp is in trouble again okay Apparently, so elixir your latest product which claims to cure all ills is in fact nothing but pine scented prune juice well I guess it should cure one ill at least okay so we've already reached the hospital value that we need to become a three-star hospital 
Um, I'm gonna have to bring my total. Got to bring my total value of the hospital up to eight hundred thousand, and then I'll be able to cure these patients just with time. Really would be nice to get a good. What is this? Increase hospital level to 10 to unlock. Unlock what? Interesting. What is that? Okay, we have five, five patients coming in with bed face, and let's do it. Okay, we have four beds. I'm going to try putting uh, an air conditioning unit in and then basically seeing if this changes to green because then I know that it's too hot. Yeah. Okay, so we won three of the eight this time. Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, and Employer of the Year. I think uh, these numbers here are how, how many times I've won it previously. Okay. My yearly profit has gone way down. Morale's gone up a little bit. Reputation's fantastic though. Yeah, I've spent a lot of money. Yeah, this is him panicking, saying that we're not covering costs. But he factors in that, I, that I've just spent money, so... I'm going to make money back from what I've just spent, but... I don't know. I just wish they didn't panic with that. It'll confuse some players. This, uh... Emergency things going pretty well. Uh, 
you know, the health inspection coming. Cured five out of five with that emergency set of patients. I do like that they've done that. Um, the little guy just popped up to remind me. So basically, if you hover over a room, you can see how many people are waiting to go to that room. So you can see there's three people waiting after this person to get in that room. I mean, it's it makes me wonder, you know, should I build another one of those rooms? like the health inspector is nearly done. It says he's visiting the toilets. Recently, I was impressed by how experimental the acts were till I realized it was facing the wrong way and just looking at the tent wall. That's a good janitor. Been waiting for a good janitor. I don't care if we have too many, I'd rather have too many. Lightheadedness emergency. Let's see. This might need maintenance before they're done. So lightheadedness, they literally come in with a light bulb head. And the light bulb gets screwed out. Damn it. Of course he's gonna choose now to fix it when I have this emergency. Come on, hurry up. Okay, let's get in there, come on. Six people waiting. So anyway, the bulb gets screwed out. And then I guess we 3D print another head and stick it back on. Now we've only cured one of them and it's nearly halfway through.
So we're very, very close to becoming a three-star hospital. Tired of hearing all the good things going on in the world? Sick of cheery headlines and positive articles? Then read the Daily Sneer, because good news is bad news. That's funny. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. He's having to repair it again. So we cured six out of seven. It doesn't help that we had to do maintenance on it twice during their visit. Okay. So the hospital value needs to go up. Um. It doesn't seem to go up when I earn money, so I actually need to build something. What is this? Deluxe clinic. I'm going to build another deluxe clinic. Ta-da! Okay. Um, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three-star rating by Two Point Health Ministry. I hope for your sake that you remember how you were able to concoct such a model institution because the county will expect you to repeat this feat at ad infinitum. May this free you of gumption and fill you with nerves. Okay. So I've got a cash bonus, I've got a kudosh bonus, and I've unlocked the news agent, which will stop boredom. There is the news agent. Where to put it really? Maybe there. So, staff. Okay. So, the receptionists, I think, are who man both of these locations. Damn, that's a good doctor. If you have any suggestions, please send them in. I'll keep you posted on how my search goes. Anything's better than my last hobby. Collecting traffic cones. Okay, so do I have any objectives now? Or is this actually... Warning. This is a general warning. Challenges online. Maybe there's multiplayer with this too. I... I have no idea. Well, that probably does explain this. So I've cured a hundred patients now, earned a million. So close to that. So, I assume you can get to level 10. Let's 
build that other GP's office that I was talking about. Where to build? So we do now have two treatment centers for lightheadedness. So we need a doctor. I'm going to hire another doctor. There we go. Split those patients up. Then we have a very good chance. Yeah, if you look down at the bottom right, you can see I've already reached level seven. I think you can get up to level 10, just looking at the UI. that one again. Won these ones a lot. Leaderboards. I feel like we're closing in on third with that one. Profits are starting to do okay. I think it was like 80,000 or something last, last time. Cure rate is the highest. Reputation is the highest. Staff morale is okay. Uh, cures per year. Fairly happy with all that. Cured 7 out of 7. Pretty pleased with that. Obviously it made sense to build this second treatment centre. Okay. It's... Um it's coming up on 2.30. I'm uh, probably gonna call it a night. Um, to sum up, I think I'm pretty pleased with the game. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm eager to see just how much more difficult it gets, what new illnesses there are, um, you know, what of these locations can be unlocked and um, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like this keeps going, although I can't get to it yet. Um, let's see what happens.
Okay, that's that. Save career. Quit to menu. Save and quit. Alright, I'm gonna probably look for another uh, two point hospital streamer. Um, and send you guys over to him or her. My screen decided to load on the wrong screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anybody online that looks interesting. I'm going to pass you off to someone that has a similar number of viewers. Um, I've had between three and five. So... But this is random. Just gonna pass you off to the one of the bigger bigger streamers then. Alright. Enjoy. Thanks. Bye bye.